half an hour after that, as people were converging, as fire and police and rescue teams were converging on the scene, a second plane appeared uh, to the west of the Trade Center buildings and slammed into the second tower. That's what you just saw, fire shooting out the north and east side of the tower. Uh, shortly after that, we began to get reports of events taking place in Washington. Uh, an explosion which first came to us as a fire at the Pentagon. Now there's a report of a second hijacked plane heading towards the Pentagon. It is believed that one of the planes, perhaps both, but one of them we have been told was an American Airlines 767 that hit one of the Trade Center towers. About a half an hour after that, perhaps a little bit longer, lose track of time a little bit in these situations, the first tower, or the, uh, let me correct that, the south tower, the second tower, uh, the one to the left collapsed. Uh, it collapsed in a cascade of smoke and spark, and what we cannot tell you is if there was a second explosion uh, that caused that collapse or if it was simply, that's the first one, that's the uh, south tower collapsing, um, and that was about a half hour, give or take, after the planes hit the tower. Then shortly after that, just as the smoke was starting to clear away, the second tower, and that's what you're looking at now. Again, this was not very long ago, 10, 15 minutes ago, the second tower. It almost looks, it almost looks like one of those implosions of buildings that you see, except there is nothing controlled about this. This is devastation. How many people, there are 50,000 people who normally go to work in the Trade Center buildings. How many of those people had arrived already? How many of those people were trapped in the upper stories? How many of those people have been hurt? How many of those people died? We cannot tell you now. We can tell you that hospitals throughout the New York area are receiving literally hundreds of patients. Uh, as, as, and they are performing triage. They are trying to figure out who could be treated, who needs help first. This is sort of standard operating procedure. We are just being told now that Israel has evacuated all its diplomatic missions around the world. Uh, Israel has evacuated its missions. We are told now that Yasser Arafat has condemned these attacks, and we don't know yet who's behind them. Britain has condemned these attacks. Germany has convened its National Security Council, and we will check and see if events are going on in those places, or if that is simply a reaction to what has gone on here in, in Washington and in New York. CNN's Gene Meserve joins us on the phone from Washington. Gene. Hay Street, which is one of the major thoroughfares here in Washington, it is absolute gridlock. It takes about 15 minutes to drive one block. Ordinarily, this time of day, there'd be nothing near this kind of traffic. You see pedestrians filling the sidewalks. Many of the businesses and offices here having closed. You see cars absolutely pouring out of the parking lots, contributing to the absolutely horrendous traffic situation. Many people trying to use their cell phones. However, cell phone service has become very difficult in this town because of the crush on circuits. For the most part, people appear to be very calm and collected. I will tell you, though, that as I drove, I looked at the car next to me full of some young women who I would guess were in their 20s, several of them crying their eyes out, obviously very upset as they listened to the radio and heard the news of what is happening in this city in New York also. Aaron, back to you. Gene, thanks. Gene was in Washington this morning as uh, she and the rest of uh the organization continues to gather what facts we can, what facts are available in the wake of the extraordinary chaos that has followed this extraordinarily horrendous terrorist attack. American Airlines, uh, we are told, one of the planes involved in this was a hijacked American Airlines 767 uh, out of Logan Airport in Boston. American Airlines will say what is knows, what is is known as you look at the White House being evacuated a short time ago, or is that live? And I'm not sure uh, on my monitor which it is. I believe it's taped from a short time ago. In any case, American Airlines uh, will talk to reporters in about a half hour or so, 11.30 Eastern time, one of its planes involved in this, and we will bring that press conference to you live when it happens. Here in New York, hospitals are being overwhelmed. 
uh, as hundreds of patients are being brought in and being treated, we cannot tell you, uh, we, we would not even begin to guess how, what the numbers in this will be, how many people will have died by the time, by the time this uh, day is over, how many injuries have taken place in both Washington and New York. But as the former police commissioner Howard Safer told us a few moments ago, obviously the numbers are going to be extraordinary. Who do we have on the phone, guys? Just help me out here. Patty, are you there? Yes, I am here. What do you got? About an hour ago, I was on the corner of Broadway and Park Place. That's about a thousand yards from the World Trade Center. When the first tower collapsed, it was a massive explosion. At the time, the police were trying desperately to evacuate people from the area. When that explosion occurred, it was like the scene out of a horror film. People started okay. stampeding away Patty, from it. Patty, Patty, uh, I'm going to interrupt you uh, for a second. We, we told you there was a second plane that went down, this one a brown. 80 uh, miles or so uh, southeast of Pittsburgh. Uh, we'll try now to connect with KDKA TV in Pittsburgh. Well, just so much for planning. We try, we will try again. Uh, again, we, we have reports that a plane has crashed in the Pittsburgh area, southeast of Pittsburgh, about 80 miles. And uh, at varying times, we've heard that this was a 767 and a 747. I'm not sure it matters which it is. What matters is that a plane has crashed in the Pittsburgh area. The Pentagon continues to monitor reports that another plane, a hijacked plane, is headed for that area. All fl all flights have been canceled around the country. International flights heading towards the United States are being diverted uh, into Canada this morning. Patty, let me go back to you uh, as we look at uh, some tape from the ground. Patty, why don't you go ahead and continue? Okay, Aaron, I'm right now, I'm in the main building of Pace University, which is inside the fallout zone of all the debris from the two building collapses. At the time of the first building collapse, I was at Broadway and Park Place. It was a huge cloud of smoke. It overcame the crowd. People were stampeding. Literally, the debris was so thick you could not see your hand in front of your face. I jumped around onto a building that was on Park Place and Beekman Street. When I was in there, people were coming in. They were crying. They were wailing. You couldn't see anything outside. After the smoke had cleared a little bit, I came outside. The scene was like a ghost town in the financial district, very eerie. You saw people being wheeled on gurneys away from the site of the explosion. People were coming out with masks over their face, anything they could put over their face, because the air was still very thick with debris. The ash on the ground is at least two inches thick. It's more like snow cover, a very eerie snow cover blanketing downtown Manhattan right now. Now, at the time, I was back on the corner again of Broadway and Park Place. At that time, the police started running toward us, telling everybody to move who was left on the street. I looked up, and that's when I heard the... <coughs> Pardon me. That's when I heard the explosion. That's when the second tower came down. Again, whoever was left on the street started stampeding. I'm in the office. I'm, right now, I'm in the main building of Pace University. People are crying. They have gas masks on their face. Authorities are making people go toward the basement. They're just doing anything that they can to move people away from the financial district. But again, it is a very horrifying scene down here. Very eerie. Okay. Like Patty, Patty, let me interrupt you. Uh, Mayor Giuliani uh, is on the telephone. Is part of New York One's coverage. We join our affiliate for that. Mayor Giuliani, since uh, we have New Yorkers listening and obviously their Again, thoughts are with urge, the people urge, who are down there. Urge them to remain calm, to remain at home, or to remain at their place of business unless they're in Lower Manhattan. By that I mean south of Canal Street. If you're south of Canal Street, get out, walk, and walk slowly, uh, carefully. There are plenty of police around, but just walk directly. If you can't figure out what else to do, just walk directly north. That'll get you out of the dangerous smoke area. It'll also do us a big favor. It'll open up those streets because we're going to be moving a large number of ambulances and uh, emergency personnel in and out of there all day. I've talked to the governor. He is putting the National Guard on alert so that they can relieve our police officers and our firefighters later this afternoon. And we've asked the federal government for help uh, from, the, from the urban search and rescue team. So uh, right now, 
We're using all of our police and firefighters and emergency personnel to help the people down there. Later on, we're probably going to need uh, reinforcements. Mayor Giuliani, I realize that it must be uh, more than a chaotic situation, particularly since the, the bunker has been compromised and cordoned off, but can you give us any sense, there are so many people watching now who must have loved ones down in that area and are concerned I, uh, of, of the heart, systematic... Goes out to them. I've never seen yes. anything uh, like this. I uh, was there from shortly after it happened and saw people jumping out of the World Trade Center. Uh, it's a horrible, horrible situation. And all that I can tell them is that, that every resource that we have... Is